So hey guys, this is Techwino with our second video, and today we'll be talking about temperature sensors, thermocouples, thermocouples, thermistors, DHT 11s, and LM35 sensors. And at the end of this video, we'll be creating our own digital thermometer, which would show you the value in degree C and also in Fahrenheit. So keep watching this video till the end. So when we talk about complicated circuits, we always need a system to constantly measure the temperature of a particular IC in that circuit so that we could maintain the proper characteristics. Now to measure that temperature, we have certain devices, temperature measuring devices or temperature sensors as we all know them. Here are a few of the temperature sensors, very viable ones. So this is a thermistor. It is based on the resistance. Now the resistance of this thing varies with the temperature. There are two types of thermistors, NTCs and PTCs for negative temperature coefficients or positive temperature coefficients. This is a thermocouple. This is made up of two different kind of metals which are joined on this thing, the probe. And the voltage across this thing also varies as the temperature varies. So kind of similar I guess. Now we have the DHT11 temperature sensor. The best part about this sensor is that it also gives the humidity readings and it is mainly used in weather stations not for circuit board friendly you know temperatures. Now we have the star of this video an LM35 temperature sensor a precision IC temperature sensor. So now let's continue with LM35 temperature sensor and let's know what this actually stands for. So when I draw this sensor here, let me just draw that. So as you can see, we have three terminals here. Let's draw that too. We have a positive voltage supply from four volts to 30 volts anywhere. And this is the ground pin. And this is the data out pin. So if we see this one, We've got the voltage input, the data output, and the ground. Now, some specs of this thing for the nerds, I guess. The scale factor of this device is 10 millivolts per degree C. So it would, uh, the voltage output, the data output would vary from 10 millivolts when one degree C of the temperature rises or anything like it. So the full range of this device to measure the temperature is minus 55 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius. And trust me, it is very, very, very precise. And this device is also very popular for the low current drain. That is, that means that you can totally use this device in many low power applications. So the low current drain is 60 microamperes when it's in use. So now let's get on to the algorithm part. We get an analog value. Let's call that value AV for now. Okay, so this is the analog value. And now we'll calculate another value, let's call that CV. So CV will be AV upon 1024 into 5000. So now we've got this CV value. And then now let's get the, the temperature value in Celsius. So the temperature in Celsius will be this CV value upon 10. 
and for people who like the Fahrenheit thing, you all know. Fahrenheit will be equal to Celsius value into 9 by 5 plus 32. So here we have a setup, we are using a multimeter to see what the millivolts value, how the millivolts value actually varies with the temperature using an LM35 sensor. We have used a 9 volt battery to power the setup here and we have a multimeter calculating the value in millivolts. So now we'll see, like, like I'll use this lighter to vary the temperature across this device and we'll see how the millivolt value varies. So as you can see the value is increasing. Yeah, that's good. So as you saw the values changed, it increased. So now we'll use this functionality of this device in with the help of some formulas, we'll calculate the temperature in degree C and Fahrenheit. Okay, so now as we aimed, we'll be making a digital thermometer using the LM35 temperature sensor, a microcontroller, namely Arduino Nano, an OLED display, a new OLED, see, and a breadboard and some wires. So now let's assemble this stuff on a breadboard. So as you can see, the whole circuit is being designed on the breadboard now. We have our OLED display to display the temperature in degree C and a Fahrenheit, the temperature sensor here, and a push button. So we have written the code in such a way that it will show the degree C by default but if you push this button until like the button is pressed it would show the data in Fahrenheit. We will see the working once we burn the code. So now let's burn the code. So you are seeing the value from going down from 60 degree C. So we are taking the average values. So we will wait for a minute or something and the value would get to the exact room temperature. So the temperature now is 29.84 degrees C. Let's see the Fahrenheit values. 86 point something, 85. So now let's compare the degrees C values from the value from a, the, with the value from a thermocouple. So we have this thermocouple device here. And you can see the values are almost similar. This is more precise actually. So yeah, that's how we create our own digital thermometer. And now I'll show you the variation when I light this thing. Exactly. As you might have thought, the value would increase. So the code for this project is in the description below and we've also added comments so that you could understand the code in a better way and the schematic also. So thanks for watching the video guys. Like this video, share and also subscribe to our channel. And as you can see, we brought up this digital, th digital thermometer and we'll be bringing up a lot of good stuff soon. So this is Tequino signing out.